Okay, this is the start of the second round uh, when we have a few of the French students competing. So this board is filled with the sound the shoes being made. Smell of sweat and of course the smell of garlic. So we're just going to see how the these boards are. We've had three weeks here now, so we're quickly used to making long cake. The date on each round, and so we have 16 competitors. As you can see from the door, we've even drawn a crowd in the street. So noisy and hectic is it. This is Henry here. Henry's my apprentice. This is Robert Shave. Robert is our erstwhile judge. Uh, he has agreed kindly to uh, be the judge for this international apprentice shoe making competition held here in Newmarket. Uh, we have visit visitors from France and that's what's inspired this. Robert, what are you going to be looking for in these shoes? Been looking for all the basics, so I want good symmetrical shoes, good nail holes, clean forging and good heels. So what have you seen so far? Because you must have been walking around and having a look at the work. Yeah, um, very different in technique. Um, definitely between the French and the English on heel forging and shoe turning. I've noticed a different um, technique used by a few of the different apprentices here. But overall, everyone seems confident and fairly confident on the anvil, which is good. Okay, so we're expecting a goodish standard to win it, aren't we? Absolutely, very high standard to win it. We've got 18 competitors, so there needs to be at least somebody who's uh, good. So far with the shoes I've seen, I'm sure there'll definitely be a few to split from to take the top spot, that's for sure. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for coming and judging our competition. It's a pleasure, thank you. You are our chief steward here yeah. at the International Apprentice Shoe Making Competition. That's right. So tell me, what has your job involved? Making sure that everybody starts on time, makes their shoes, doesn't burn anybody, doesn't run out of gas, and they stop when I tell them to, after 40 minutes. That's a highly responsible job. Are you sure you're up to it? Well, I gave it my best shot. Might not be everybody's best, but I gave it my best shot. Now you're spluttering. You weren't expecting that question. I wasn't expecting that question, no. I didn't get enough time to rehearse. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll give you the questions and in a week's time I'll, I'll re-interview you and see if you have different answers. Anyway, thank you for being the steward and well done. Nobody injured. Uh, I'm sure there'll be all sorts of moans behind your back tomorrow. <laughs> it was a pleasure. <laughs> Did anybody here not enjoy it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's always got to be one loser in the group. There you go. So, uh, as you know, it was just for fun. We got it organised quickly. Thank you, uh, especially to both Robert and Colin, uh, because all I did was sent you all the message and, and said come along, and then I disappeared off the meeting. So, so it was really brilliant. Uh, Robert's come in. And uh, well, Colin's always here. So, uh, <laughs> so thanks for your help. Now we're going to announce the winners. We're not going to go down three or four places because it was just supposed to be fun. We've got a French winner, 
And we've got a non-French winner, to be politically correct, because I think we've got <coughs> yeah. English, Irish, and I don't know who else. <laughs> so, so, and then we've got an overall winner. So we've got a little prize for each other. All right, you yeah, announce the first winner. The best non-French number nine. Non-French? Dylan, <laughs> 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 <laughs>